Hi, I'm Todd Henderson. Today we're going to install the Gator Hybrid Tonneau Cover on this 2009 to 2015 Dodge Ram 5.7 bed. Let's go ahead and get started. Now the first thing we're going to do once we get the cover out of the box, we're just going to lift it up. We're going to set it on the bed of the truck. Now the side with the straps is going to face towards the cab. We're going to set it in place. push it forward, and then we're going to release the straps and fold it back to the tailgate. Next we're just going to want to center it side to side and front to back to make sure it's nice and even on the bed of the truck. Next we're going to gently fold it up towards the cab again, making sure not to shift the position of the cover on the bed. Next we're going to release the clamp from its stowed position. I'm going to slide it over to the bed cap. Now we're going to twist the twist handle until it raises the jaw of the clamp up to the bed cap. Now once we get into this position here, because this uh, bed cap is a plastic bed cap cover over top of the metal bed, what we're going to want to do is if that bed cap protrudes down below the level of the metal bed, we're going to need to mark on either side of the clamp, and we're going to trim and take a little bit of the uh, plastic material from the bed cap out of the way so we're actually clamping down on the metal, not on the plastic. Now we can safely secure the clamp to the metal on the bed of the truck. Now repeat the same process on the opposite side. Now we can go ahead and fold the cover back to the tailgate again and set the latches at the tailgate side. All right, now for the rear bracket, we're going to go ahead and pull it down from its stowed position. We're going to rotate it to where the clamp faces the bed cap and slide it over towards the bed cap. Now this notch is going to be raised up into the groove and slide underneath the bed cap. Now you notice that that clamp is far away from the bed cap, so what we're going to do is we're going to rotate the clamp uh, a few rotations to let it right up that threaded shaft and try it again. Now when the clamp just barely passes underneath, we can go ahead and turn that clamp and tighten it down. And repeat the same process on the opposite side. Now we're just going to test make sure it fits properly under the tailgate. And that concludes the installation. If you have any questions, call the experts. We're here to help you out.